This is Radio Ukraine International with the weekly program Doing Business, hosted by Rodion Zhiznevsky and produced by Konstantin Lavrentyuk. Doing Business covers current economic developments in and concerning Ukraine and gives topical information as well as immediate and longer-term economic forecasts. It is what we think might give you food for thought and help you see Ukraine through the economic angle. The private security industry is actively developing not only in Ukraine, but also throughout the world. Among regular reports of a terrorist threat, elemental disasters, rampant crime, riots and growing instability in society, people increasingly turn to the services of private security guards and detectives. We all know quite well how the security sector is developing in Ukraine. But there is very little information in the Ukrainian press about how things are in developed Western countries, although the private security business there began to develop much earlier than here. The first private security companies appeared in the United States back in the 1980s and then the idea was taken up by Western Europe. At first, security services performed mainly primitive function of watchmen, monitoring an object and timely calling the police or the fire department. The popularity of security grew sharply after insurance companies began to offer discounts to customers, hiring physical security to ensure the safety of facilities as this increases the chances of insured property being safe. Today, thousands of private enterprises operate in the world security industry. Millions of private security guards work making a significant contribution to the security of their countries. Many aspects of the work of private security companies in Western countries can be taken as the model. This applies to everything – work experience and technical support advanced technologies, as well as cooperation with government agencies. Modern private security companies provide a wide range of services. They provide personal protection of citizens and the security of important public and private facilities, patrol city blocks, conduct private investigations, fight against fraudsters and thefts, carry out a escort of goods and collection, provide technical equipment of facilities monitor the situation, provide detective services, maintain order at public events. In other words, private security companies partially replace state structures and operate in those areas that the state has designated for them. The boundaries of this sphere are determined by state institutions and their decisions in turn depend on the general situation in the country and abroad. Dmitry Ostryzhov, who is a professional with 17 years of experience in the private security industry, owner and founder of one of the biggest security companies of Ukraine, will tell us more about innovations in this sphere. I would like to ask you to say a few words about yourself. How long have you been in the security services market? How did it all start? My name is Dmitry Strizhov. I've received a master degree in national security. I started my professional activity in the security services market in 2003. Returning at that time, we had physical security only. And in 2014, we began to develop remote control. This is the security of apartments and houses, a source button, GPS tracks, and other services that allow you basically to call the guard as needed, if needed. For more than five years, we have been a leader in terms of increasing our client base. We have more than 30,000 clients who have entrusted us their security. Our task is to become a national company and be present in 
127 cities of Ukraine. In the direction of physical security, we are present in every region, but the technical security implies the presence of crews that can arrive up to eight minutes. We are scalable through a franchise and are already present in seven cities that are Chernivtsi, Melitopol, Lviv, Rivne, Bucha, Irpin and Bilatsekra. Our task is to be present in 127 cities again, which uh, with population over 25,000. This way we will become the largest national operator. We have only those services that people really need. For example, when we look at the statistics data of calls to the police, we saw more than 1 million calls in Kyiv and more than 20 million uh, calls in Ukraine, of which 8% of the police didn't come because of the high workload. The reason for the calls is completely different. Someone offended someone, someone drunk behaves inappropriate, someone doesn't want to pay the bill at the restaurant. Having looked in more detail at these challenges, we realized that in 50% of cases we could solve these problems. That's why we launched personal service when a person can order a service in advance of a dangerous situation. For example, in Kyiv every month there are approximately 600 robberies. This means that people make some kind of financial operation or transactions and hope that everything will be fine. But often robbers take a bag of money just from their car. When we launched this service, we saw a high market demand for escort service from point A to point B. Then we saw their parents take care of the safety of their children. So we have bought Israeli trackers Trekimo. They show geolocation precisely. They have two functions, a sauce button that a child can press and the cruise will arrive, and the second function is a safe zone. For example, safe area, let's say safe, safe area. For example, I know that my child attends school tutor training and this is in the certain area, let's say left bank of Kyiv. As soon as a child crosses the boundaries of the established uh, area, I immediately receive a notification on my phone that my child is in an unsafe area. If I know that this, this uh, should be so, then okay. And if not, then I can send a sheriff crew for my child. Moreover, they can take a child to a safe area if necessary. In addition, we have the largest number of crews in Kyiv. We have an uninterruptible power supply system, which allows us to get rid of the gap in the signals. We invest over 1 million grivna per year in the training of our employee. In terms of employee who work on security crews, this is not only physical preparation, but also psychological preparation to make the situation conflict-free. Once every three months, work with a psychologist so that employees can conduct a correct dialogue in order to defuse the situation. For example, the recent story with a shooter in Kyiv. Then a man called us and we entered together with a police officer, but a shot rang out. Our employee was protected as he had fifth class bulletproof vest and was slightly wounded in the arm. He was absent at the work a couple of days. I say this to the fact that today there is a lot of tension in our society. And often these are all everyday situations. A dispute between two neighbors, drunk people in the bar, a fight on the road, and so on. In this case, if a person sees a problem, then he or she can call and we will take you from there. Tell us more about training sessions for security staff. What kind of special equipment 
that the guard The training of workers of rapid response crews is quite complex. It runs all year round non-stop. Preparation includes a physical training and taking the Murphy test every six months. A Murphy test includes 1,600 meters running, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups and 300 squats and again 1,600 meter running in 15 minutes without body armor. Then there are practical driving and practical shooting, which surrenders after physical training. Moreover, our employees are legally armed with traumatic firearms that doesn't kill if it doesn't enter the vital organs. Our weapons room is more than four years old, but we have never used weapons and we are happy about it. We believe, as the London police does, that you should be good at using a, a weapon, but to use it as a last resort. And if used, then we analyze the situation in details. Our employee is equipped with a fifth-class bulletproof vest, a helmet, a radio station, a chest video recorder that broadcasts online everything that happens around him, and an operator who is in the office sees everything online. If physical force is used, then there is a specialist in the monitoring center who immediately analyzes the situation and analyzes what was done well and what was done bad. It is very important to give instant feedback. The cruise workers undergo a separate course on protection from a knife and a stick. Quite often it happens when a group of two people comes to a club or a restaurant and there are six people. However, the security cruise workers know how to handle the baton and therefore can provide protection against six, eight or even ten people. A guest is also included in the cruise worker's equipment and plastic ties as an analog of handcuffs. Consequently, the task of the crew worker is to make the situation conflict-free, or if there is a thief there, then to detain him. If a thief resists using a gas cartridge, if he has a strong resistance, then use a baton. If there is a threat to the life of a worker cruise worker, then he can use a web. We also record all conflicts, videos, and then analyze them. In the same way that sales managers learn scripts and texts, in the same way the cruise workers learn the correct speech. For example, if they see that tension is growing, then one says if the second guard turns on. Then the first one is silent, so as not to create tension more than it's needed. This training runs all around here, and some workers have the opportunity to complete this training twice. You're listening to Radio Ukraine's weekly program, Doing Business. There is a practice of hiring women as security guards. Does this practice happen to be the norm for Ukraine? Women work in the company, but mainly in other departments, let's say sales department support managers. In some places of the guard, women work where the inspection of personal belongings is provided. At the moment, women do not work in the security crews. I look at the experience of our neighbors uh, we have a lot of, in comparison with our society, we have a lot of aggression in our society. And the employee must be prepared by default. And one of the criteria is physical strength, although we put it in the background. The first criteria is intelligence. When a person comes to the alarm, it's implied that there will be no aggression in foreign society when I see elderly women in equipment, but I understand that they cannot do anything. The position of foreign market probably is that one arrival of security is enough. In our market, this would be a reason for many jokes. Since we have a lot of aggression and tension in our society, 
our security should be associated with a superhero who can punish a robber just with one sight. Since the target audience of our program is foreigners, foreign investors, the following question arises. Do you provide security services to citizens of other countries? And if so, which ones? Do the security guards speak English? We have employees who speak a foreign languages. They are responsible for communication with foreign citizens. We work with foreign citizens and embassies on three main projects. The first one is providing protection from point A to point B with a person. When a person needs to be picked up from the airport and delivered when, uh, wherever he or she needs to at all points. More often, trackers are issued. Uh, they are issued to a foreign citizen. We take his data, photo, and when an alarm or any situation occurs, which he or she cannot understand, then he or she press the source button on the tracker. After that, the employee of the monitoring center contacts him and helps him to understand the situation. And there is not always a threat to life. If the employee of the monitoring center cannot contact or understand that if a person needs help or not, does the person need physical presence, then our closest uh, fast response crew team is sent from one to eight minutes. Rapid response crews do not know English at the proper level, but people can communicate using the help of a person from a monitoring center. In your experience, what services are most in demand among foreigners? The project we are working on is a reputation check. For example, foreigners can buy raw materials cheaply two times and not receive money or raw materials for the third time. If there is a need, we go to production factory and check if there is any at all. We also check production capabilities. For example, if people sign up a contract to produce 1,000 beds, but they can only produce 100. It means that people are cheating ahead of time. In this way, we indicate consulting services. This refers to detective activities. You're listening to Radio Ukraine's weekly program, Doing Business. Tell us more about the process of digitalization of the security business here in Ukraine. The security market lags slightly behind our other markets. It's like a mammoth. Any digitalization requires serious money, investments, development. Unfortunately, most of the uh, competition in this market was about uh, tax evasion, savings, etc. We made the first breakthrough. When did we feel it? We came to a point when our client base reached 10,000 and we began to receive negative customer reviews for the quality of our service. We figured out what this is connected with. Information is in different places and a person cannot quickly get feedback with one touch. It was then that a CRM system appeared in our company for the first time. After that, chatbots were created, the CRM system was improved and a personal account was created for clients on the site. I mean the website. Mobile application is currently in development. It is in a beta. Here it will be released and it will be used in Kyiv for the first three months and then throughout Ukraine. At the stage of development, a personal account in the mobile application. You need to download it, enter your details, your photo and your bank card. If you have a situation, there are three options. The first one is just call it with a swipe. A group leaves for you, starts looking for you, but at the same time they call you to clarify where you are. 
in an apartment building it will show your your location but it will not show you which floor even if you don't answer they will still looking for you the second option is you can drag the geolocation to show the group on the map where to go and the third one is you can indicate the address where to come for you and you will be escorted no matter what you are traveling with the child must be taken for example somewhere or whatever it will be seen that we are accustomed to the fact that it is so easy but we experience it on our own experience and it is not easy at all I understand startups where it takes five to eight years from idea to implementation. Unfortunately, nothing happens quickly. And Ukraine's problem is in this regard. We have no concept of investment. We have people who gave money and if you didn't return it, well, you'll get a problem. Investors, such a concept appears only now. Therefore, our digital transformation is not happening as fast as I would like, because we can afford to do it from our own profit. But we realized that it is impossible to live so long if we want to conquer the whole world. And now an advisory board is being created, which will include specialists in strategic marketing. And we are already packing financial statements in such a way to be able to attract foreign investors in order to strengthen and accelerate the issue of digitalization. And to become not only the first a security IT company in Ukraine, but possibly one of the world security IT companies. This niche is free. And what are the legal consequences? Is there any fixation of an offense? Is it possible then to contact the police on these facts? Is the security company then used as the witness? There are such cases, and if our help is needed, we participate in this. Our key difference from other security companies and maybe even from the police is that many have video recorders, but they write uh, on the card into it, and then he or she got lost turned on. In our case, all data is automatically sent to Australia and transferred to the servers. We have no dark sports. There is a complete video recording of what happened. Whether the Supreme Court will accept it, this is as an evidence, I don't know. In our practice, this was not the case, but we can transfer all data to the client. If we are attracted by lawyers, then it is for this. As can be seen from the above, the market for security services is growing from year to year in Ukraine. At the same time, the demand for high technologies is growing most of all, since they are becoming an increasingly important element in the prevention of criminal encroachments. That was Radio Ukraine's weekly program Doing Business, hosted by Rodion Zhiznevsky and produced by Konstantin Lavrentyuk. Tune in every Wednesday for more.